Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terrarian video. We're here, I know we're still on the old world, but it's gonna take a while to set up the new world. Give it a couple episodes. But yeah, we are here, and today we are checking out, boom, the Lunar Decimator from the One Hit Decimator mod. Now, this mod actually does have two swords. It has the Lunar Decimator, and then has the Solar Destruction, which is like the baby brother. Very cool, so maybe we'll make a separate video later along the line. I think this one is weaker, so, you know, we'll, we'll wait a while before we do a video about that one but yeah all it takes is a single swing we don't need crit for what we are using fast enough to break time notice what i did with the colors can only one shot worms that don't split through the head hit the head it can break time and space by just moving an inch so can my wee wee let's get to it so let's see this thing in action here brings the dummies to like one health Ooh, you love to see the negative numbers that's always a good sign let's see it in action here i have high hopes for this we are playing with the eternity mode bosses on beautiful you love to see it all right let's get to it king slime the day a boss survives the king slime will be the day i record this series naked on to the next boss ayaka thulu beautiful let's go ahead let's get the queen bee in here or should i say the queen hornet let's get skeletron daytime skeletron by the way and dungeon guardian why not dungeon guardian survive it no it just took a couple swings got a lot of debuffs on me okay god eater was that a picture of a dog what was that got a lot of cool items from killing him too yeah a lot of people were like oh you missed the idol on worm last episode not only did i say i wasn't gonna fight every usual thing we usually fight every single boss but literally the last episode the weapon destroyed everything so like here i'll, I'll, I'll fight the idol on worm early just to get it out of the way i had to hit it in the head there you go just get it out of the way so people don't bother me about it just you saw what i did there imagine the weapon from the last episode doing the same thing because it literally killed every single boss in the episode so i don't know it's annoying when people all the comments are just instead of weapon suggestions or just criticism it's just people bugging me about bosses that i missed i get it i get it it's annoying for me to miss one but it's also annoying when every single comment is about me missing that boss but yeah let's kill the brain here the purple brain wait do i have to summon it here if i play eternity mode do i summon the brain of cthulhu here because it looks like a corruption variant and then now when i summon the eater you know it looks like a crimson variant so who knows see that would be a good thing to leave a comment about instead of telling me what i missed all right since we're doing a regular episode here let's include lepus and turquoise of course and the dark mage boom get him out of here time to add some more boxes to hell wall of flesh what's up all right let's take on the mechs i guess i'll do them uh separately here might as well do daytime ones why not right we'll kill these guys before they transform and destroyer got him before you can run away all right we have the dingy jungle duo plantera and sans golem i kind of want to see what he looks like oh there you go oh look at that beautiful <laughs> get him out of here i don't know how much uh bosses resist damage when they're in eternity mode if at all if it matters at all i'm assuming they have a little bit more health but i know people have told me a lot that the uh the boss rush thing in the calamity mod that like that has some stronger bosses or something like that different bosses different ai i don't know people have told me that they're stronger that i should test it out one time on them so maybe we'll have like a whole episode dedicated to that but yeah let us go ahead and get to the event bosses here what's up ogre of course ender dragon betsy we got the dutchman the wood bros and sand tank hidden behind them i'm gonna get up close and personal for that i do think it's about time to change this world because i feel like this is the only world where i get like fps problems so you see like when i kill stuff the game lags when i pick up items on this world the game lags like this world might just be like at the brink of being broken wouldn't surprise me honestly i've enabled mods i've disabled mods all on this world like i really wouldn't be surprised if it's like on the brink of breaking or pretty much is broken already uh-oh I think Akram just crashed our game. Oh, no, it came back. I don't know what that happens with Akram sometimes. Maybe it's the world. Are the boys here? The boys are actually here today? Wow. No, recently, I didn't. I don't think they were showing up. All right. Boom. Cultist got him. Now, I want to see here. I think these projectiles go forever. If I just like... Oh, no, they're not lined up. Yeah, the pillars aren't lined up. I was going to just shoot the projectiles, see if I hit the pillars, but they're not all directly lined up. All right let's just take out these pillars though and let's fight the stronger moon lord the eternity mode moon lord of course hey it's not your damn video dwarf what an asshole 
all right while we are waiting i don't know how long we have to wait i will spawn in abyssion i guess what's up all three of them of course all dead all right moon lord can i instantly kill moon lord or do i actually have to kill all the eyes okay it's fine thought i was just gonna completely delete it it's all good it was still really fast all right of course right after moon lord let's go straight to dream eater boom and after dream eater i might as well knock out the mutant might as well phase two incoming but so is my sword oh phase three there's more phases in eternity bro yeah how are you supposed to dodge this what the hell was that does this look fun to like non-bullet health players i don't know about y'all this doesn't look that fun okay he died he put on a whole show but he finally died all right doggy time not an actual dog though sorry for anyone thought for anyone new here and thought an actual dog was about to fight me is there a phase two? Oh, there is a phase two look at that did not know if this weapon was gonna allow phase two it did shout out to that so i think one of the things this weapon specifically does is make sure that bosses actually die and drop their treasure bags which is obviously a major plus side it shows that the weapon is efficient at what it does not only does it destroy everything but it drops the treasure bag while destroying everything all right yarn boom get him out of there and of course let us fight supreme cal now many people probably wonder have i ever actually beaten supreme cal i think a couple of times i have not exactly my favorite fight i just don't like bullet hells i'm not really a fan of them i'm not skilled enough to do them uh, especially since i do have wrist problems like i actually do have like i don't know if it's carpal tunnel directly i've never went to the doctors to confirm if it's carpal tunnel or not but like i've had a terrible wrist pains in the past so like you know when i gotta do tight movements and stuff in video games it's kind of hard for me it's kind of hard for me i can only do it so much before my wrist starts hurting so excuse me for not really enjoying doing bullet hells or tight movements in video games maybe i should fight supreme cow with the controller maybe that'd be easier i don't know you let me know <laughs> somebody somebody try and fight supreme cow with the controller all right and supreme cow is dead let us fight the ugandan knuckles what's up my boy get him out of here he got kind of close i got scared if i missed that all that would have been a little scary all right since i have eternity mode on this is not going to be like an every episode occurrence i don't know we'll see i might as well fight some of the champions hopefully i can kill them before they run away it might be a little hard though extremely hard <laughs> champion of earth is that is that that's a hell boss yeah there you go okay i you know this will probably help me decide or figure out where they spawn in champion of terra no okay that's not the jungle what about champion of timber you know let's go ahead and take it out that was its second form i think whatever still works champion of life if that one sticks around i could kill it champion of nature very cool it's like a hydra kill that one really quick i, I don't know if i killed him he might have got away i don't know uh champion of cosmos I think the champion of terror might be an underground boss. Let's see here. It might be a little dark. Oh, it is an underground boss. Okay. Champion of Will Smith, my favorite one. Let's take that one out. Looks like a robotic version or steampunk version of uh, the Duke, which is really cool. Champion of Spirit. I believe that might be a desert one. Let's see here. Maybe underground desert. Oh, no, it's staying. Did I kill it? Go ahead. Show that health bar. I can't move. I literally don't have control of my character. What's happening? Somebody help okay there we go we got it all right i might have missed one maybe i don't know i don't really care that much let us fight ek death still one of my favorite bosses boom what's up ek death how you doing let's go ahead enraged version dead version all right so the lunar decimator not bad really good honestly i think i could have used this weapon for the last episode too we're seeing some very op weapons i believe this weapon was specifically made for one of these videos so shout out to the mod developer for that but yeah again we're still in the old world it's gonna take me a while to set up the new world so we'll see about that that might take a couple episodes i will see y'all in the next video make sure you keep on leaving op weapon suggestions i'll see y'all next time